Shulam Aleichem. This is Rav Keith, and I want to tell you a story about my good friend Yisrael David Sando, who passed away just about a year ago today. Yisrael David is a Holocaust, was a Holocaust survivor, and he lived in the Rova, the old city of Yerushalayim. And not only was he a Holocaust survivor who had terrible memories of the war, he was blind, and he could hardly hear, and he could hardly move. And he lived in this tiny little room. So I had this chut to start bringing him food when I lived in the Rova and sending my students to give him a little, from, pick up lunch every day from the soup kitchen. And eventually what I started realizing is that he didn't really want the food so much. That wasn't really the important thing. What he really wanted was me. He wanted friends. He wanted people to hang out with. And he'd say, Kalamanika! As soon as I would walk in there, he was so happy. And thank God, we had many special times together. I remember especially on holidays and Purim, we would sing and dance and hold his hand. And uh, his house really became like the chesed center of the rova. The right the chesed boys and the harova girls and the Esha would somehow find each other at the same time or not, but they would always, the whole world, anyone who wanted to do a chesed, to connect to a place where they can give, they went to Yisrael David to give him a little food, but more to give a little love and to receive that amazing feeling that Yisrael used to give us. And I have to admit, sometimes it was really hard for me, because there were times that I was just popping in on a Tuesday afternoon and I was in between sheer, and I didn't really have time and as soon as I got in there, I wanted to just give him his food and go. But he wanted more time and more stories. And it was hard. And uh, I remember at a certain point realizing that when I go in there and I want to get out of there, he immediately feels it. He might be blind, but he can feel. And he feels my energy. So I decided, I'm going to start going on Shabbos mornings. After Kiddush. I do Kiddush with him. We both have a chayim. I'd sit, I'd relax. There was no pressure after davening. And we talk about the Parsha. He didn't want to talk about the war stories. He didn't want to talk about anything. He wanted to talk about meaningful stuff. And even if he told me the same Devar Torah over and over again, it was amazing. As, uh, as Yishai Rebo teaches, Im latet as kvar latet If you're going to give, then give from all your heart. And that's what Yisrael taught me. When, you, when I gave 80% and wanted to get out of there, it wasn't fun for either of us. But when I gave and I wanted to hang out with him and I wanted to spend time with him, I loved it, he loved it. That's what Yisrael Dovi taught me amongst many other things. So tonight, I'm very happy to, and, to get out there to announce that we're starting the Chesed Club. And that means that we're going to learn about manifesting a life of love and kindness, a little bit of a sheer. And then the community that we create is going to brainstorm together about how to do a chesed project, a new project every week to help bring kindness and love to the community. So if you want to be a part of that, the Zerat Hashem would be amazing. I'd love for you to be a part of that. Your particular energy will make a big difference. And uh, starting tonight at 8.25, the Zerat Hashem, our first meet. And this one's for you, Yisrael David Sando. Whether you can make the meat or not, may you be blessed with a day full of kindness and love from the depth of your heart. Nikola Lev.